it's the go-to line of the magas. It's a it's to the mentally deranged members. Could you imagine that was saying stuff like this shit? Mentally <laughs> deranged uh -huh. members of Congress. They go right back to the same lines. <laughs> so, so good. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. I love hosting political beatdown with Michael Cohen. He's just the best. He's an American hero. I want to play for you this clip from the last episode of Political Beatdown I did with Michael Cohen. And it may be Michael Cohen's best rant. Yeah, okay. It's up there. He gives so many good rants, but I, I have to share this with you. Play the clip. They go right back to the same lines. It's all the same lines. I know the playbook because I fucking wrote it. I mean, go back to the same lines. That, oh, well, now it's opened up a can of worms. Uh, you know, that we're going to go after the Bidens. By the way, if there's something to go after the Bidens for and it's legitimate, by all means, I am not I am not saying that there is anything. What I am saying is if there is something don't make it up. Just go after it. All right. And run the investigation the way that an investigation should be run. But you don't diminish what Donald did or is alleged to have done simply by saying, well, now we're going after Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and Burisma and all the other stuff. It's just a crock of bullshit. It's merely to deflect so far. There's absolutely nothing that is that has come out. I mean, I keep hearing about Hunter Biden's laptop. That's all that you hear about. Well, what about Hunter Biden's laptop? And all of a sudden you sit there and you say to yourself, what the fuck are you talking about? Right? <laughs> we all know that there was a laptop. OK, there's a video of Hunter Biden nude with drugs. All right. He's a drug addict. He's acknowledged that he was a you know, he was he was an abuser of drugs. And how many how many people do we know, unfortunately, yep. in our lifetimes that abuse drugs? He was hooked and he's trying to get better. And God bless him for trying that. All right. And we hope that he stays strong. But so far, I don't see any information being leaked. And rest assured, if there was information for them to leak, they would have already leaked it. So instead, they don't talk about anything specific. Well, what about Hunter Biden's laptop and give Donald Trump your money. And, and so you say you scratch your head mm -hmm. and you say, my God, this person represents the United States of America yeah. in the people's house. It is a fucking embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. And, and I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. They're making assholes out of themselves, their entire legacy. Look, look at, for example, Rudy Colludi, drunken Giuliani. The guy was America's mayor. I mean, after 9-11, he was America's mayor. He did good things in New York. And ultimately, what happens? He's the laughing stock of the fucking planet. Not just not just New York, not just America, the whole planet. They look at him with the die shit running down his head in the middle of a parking lot, talking stupidity and so on. And then he gets his idiot son to think that he's going to run for the governorship. By the way, the reason they wanted Andrew to run for governor, hoping that if there was any fucking possibility that that moron could win. Remember, if Donald Trump gets gets um. If he's found guilty, he cannot be pardoned by the by the uh, by whether it's Biden or by uh, if he wins again, he can't pardon himself. Or if a Republican <laughs> wins and he makes a deal to support whoever that candidate, he cannot because it's a state crime. The only one who could actually do that would be the governor. I want to address a few things that you said there. First, the just utter humiliation and embarrassment by these uh, MAGA Republicans in the House of Representatives. I mean, they're out there singing songs with the J6 choir and they sent an official congressional delegation to hang out with the January 6th terrorist and insurrectionist in jail and high fived them like they were celebrities and started chanting, let's go brand into them. That's the first point. The next point you mentioned, uh, you know, this interview with James Comer happened on Fox for everybody wondering when the Dominion defamation case Fox 
is set to go to trial. Jury selection is April 13th. And there was a huge order yesterday in that case where Rupert Murdoch was trying to quash the subpoena for himself and his son, Lachlan Murdoch, because they didn't want to have to show up and testify at trial. Uh, the judge, the Delaware Superior Court Judge Eric Davis, ruled that they are going to have to show up and be witnesses at trial um, when that case starts. And the trial is set to begin uh, on April 13th. And so while Fox is a defendant in a defamation trial about to go to trial, they're platforming James Cole talking about literally colluding the House Oversight Committee run by Republicans colluding with prosecutors from Kentucky and Tennessee to, quote, go after the Bidens, just straight up crime right there. Um, but then you have Ari Fleischer, who was the press secretary in the George W. Bush administration, which is important to know that it, this didn't all just come out of nowhere, right? The roots of this were there. They were just concealing it. <laughs> they, they were just now they just talk about it outward. Back then they said, oh, we're compassionate conservatives and blah, 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 blah. Just total bullshit, right? That was just the pretext to then engage in the policies that they wanted. With Trump, it's all out there now just for everybody to see. So here is Ari Fleischer on Fox saying this is what he hopes happens. This is what Fox ho hopes happens. Play this clip novel legal theory that they brought in just for Donald Trump. But your thoughts watching this today? Hmm. You know, one of the raps against Donald Trump is that he violates the norms. And as a result, the Democrats had no choice. Prosecutors had no choice. But Sean, what's happened to Donald Trump is actually the real violation of the norms. He was impeached the first time by a process that did not even go through the Judiciary Committee. They wrecked the Bipartisan Intelligence Committee at the hands of Adam Schiff to get Donald Trump. The second time they tried to impeach him, knowing it would not succeed, they didn't even go through that process. They put it right on the floor and shoved it down everybody's throats. And now you have a prosecutor in overwhelmingly lopsided ideologically Democrat, 85 to 15 Democrat to Republican Manhattan, going after Donald Trump. Here's what I hope happens next, Sean. I earnestly hope that conservative prosecutors in rural areas of America indict Bill Clinton, indict Hillary Clinton, indict Hunter Biden. Their only way to stop this and return to the norms is for one side to realize if they go too far, the other will match them. And that is not the way we settle our disputes in America. They should be settled at the ballot box, not through the courts. But Republicans cannot unilaterally disarm. You can't let them try to interfere in the 2024 election by doing to Donald Trump what they're doing. And I say that as somebody who will criticize Donald Trump when he goes too far. The Democrats are violating the norms, and they're especially doing it through this case, this weak case in Manhattan. Well, you got a lot of low hanging fruit with Hunter Biden. And I think the American people need to know how much money did the Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden. And when you watch these committee hearings, all they do, right, the MAGA Republicans, it, it'll be on something. You know, they'll hold the hearing on why they want to abolish the ATF, which is a, a, a major issue. They want to abolish the DOJ. They want to abolish the FBI. They want to abolish the ATF. And then they'll say something to the witness and then they'll go, but what about Hunter Biden's laptop? I mean, they're, they're just, and all they're doing is they're trying to create Hunter Biden into the boogeyman. That's it. You know, for a long time, it was Michael Cohen. You know, every time that they turn around and Donald Trump has some sort of an issue, all they keep saying is, well, you're relying upon a convicted felon uh, on a you know convicted liar. And so we can't take what he's saying. Michael Cohen, Michael Cohen, Michael Cohen. And I mean, th it's just been I've, I've been there. I've experienced it. It sucks, to be honest with you. But at the end of the day, it proves it proves to be false. And it, look who's now sitting at the defendant's table. The guy who's ultimately responsible, the guy who directed it, who was in coordination with and benefited from it. And I believe the same thing's going to happen here. And shame on Ari Fleischer. Shame on him. He's better than that. And, you know, I, I don't understand what they're all doing. I don't understand why you will go ahead and you will support somebody and defend somebody who is 100 percent inaccurate, who has lied to the American people about it. There are documents. I mean, for God's sakes, don't listen to anything, folks. Don't <laughs> listen to anything that anyone is saying. 
Look at the fucking facts. Look at the emails. Look at what was going on on January 6th between the White House and people on the outside. That was going on between, for example, the Roger Stones of the world, uh, all the way to Mark Meadows and so on. Look at the look at the email chain. Look at the fact that Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingraham and Suzanne Scott and um, and the Murdochs that they're calling Donald a fucking idiot and that they're turning and saying that the guy is off his rocker. He's unhinged and we have to put a stop to this bullshit. And then what do they do? They shove Ari Fleischer, along with Kellyanne Conway, right back into America's face, right back into the people that they said that we were lying to. They go ahead, they shove that shit right back in people's face, and they say, they go right back to the old playbook. It's all Hunter Biden. It's all Joe Biden. And the only way for us to get back on track is to indict or to investigate the Bidens. I mean, think about the circular logic that's there. That's not circular logic. That's just stupidity. I told you it was going to be a good clip. Thanks for watching the full clip. By the way, make sure you subscribe to Political Beatdown wherever you get audio podcasts. Just search Political Beatdown, hit subscribe, leave a five star review. It's very helpful uh, for the show. And I think you will enjoy the audio podcast. Also, subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's free to subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's free to subscribe to the audio podcast. It's free. What's better than that? All right. Hit subscribe right now on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we uh, appreciate all of your support. Until next time, I'm Ben Micellis. At Midas Touch, we are unapologetically pro-democracy and we demand justice and accountability. That's why we're spreading our message to Convict 45. That's right, gear up right now with your Convict 45 tees and pins at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.